Hey Stampers, Robin Mudd here with Simple Designs by Robin. Um, I decided last night, I looked at some of the um, other videos that the ladies were doing about making your own washi tape. So, the first couple of times that I tried, you can see that it didn't come out very well. So, we'll just toss that. So, I thought, well, I think maybe it's because the tape that I was using, it has like a, a pattern kind of thing on it. So, I've got plenty of these laying around because um, those of you who know me know that I used to be a hairdresser and I also did nails. So, I've got tons of these still laying around. So, I'm sorry for the noise. I know y'all don't like the sound, but... So what I did was I went up and down across here a few times just to kind of smooth it out. Then I took one of those Prima markers um, that I had gotten yesterday and then I just colored it just to kind of give it a little bit of background. And like Karen says, y'all talk amongst yourselves for just a minute while I get this colored. And then uh, we're going to try, let's try one of the uh, blendabilities. Let's see uh, what it does and see if it does as, see if it does as well as the Prima marker did. But I just got really aggravated because, you know, there's no reason why you can't make your own washi tape. I know some of you all work full time and you all don't have time to do all that. But since I'm retired, you know, there's no reason why I can't. I just have to come up with the right idea. And this is um, crumb cake that I'm using there. And the Prima one was uh, brown gray, A97. I kind of like these markers. I wish I could have found more of them. And we're going to use this little stamp set. Um... I don't know the name of it. Um, I'm bad about taking the names and stuff off of my stamp sets. <clears throat> and I was going to use my Stampin' Up! stamp pads, but I just re-inked most of them, and so they're really moist. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the Craft Smart. I have these laying around because my granddaughter, um, I'll let her stamp with these. So... Because I'm selfish when it comes to my uh, stamping up things. And you can see it stamps pretty good. Let's try this one. And you can use any kind that you want. I, you're still going to get a little... I didn't, you know, buff it out enough because I didn't think you all would want to sit and listen to all that. So if you buff it out enough, you know, it'll look pretty good. But still, you know, I'm satisfied, you know, with the way that it looks. Let's try a couple of little teacups. See what they look like. Well, I'm not getting as much on there. But you guys get the idea uh, that you can make your own. And you can make it any color that you... Oh, no, that came out pretty good. You can make it any color that you want to. Um... I just get tired of trying to look for it and can't ever find it. So I kind of use a little bit of country girl ingenuity to see if, you know, I can make my own or uh, whatever. I couldn't find my big pad, so I was kind of using this one. See what it does with this. It came out pretty good. So, see, you know, you can make your own. But I would suggest trying to find some other kind of tape instead. Of, of course, this came from the Dollar Tree, of course. But try to find a tape that has a smoother outside on it. And this is how it came out on this one. So, you know, I'm pretty pleased with the way that it came out. I just have to kind of keep working with it. Uh, you know, and kind of... See, it didn't come out too bad. Kind of work with it. And see what I can do with it. So you guys want to give it a try? I mean, it's only going to cost you a little bit of ink and some tape. 
So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down, but at least let me know why you're giving me a thumbs down. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And you guys have a blessed Sunday.